Hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking CSCM videos. Hope you are doing well. So let's start. And uh, in this video, we will talk talk about the Active Directory. Uh, mostly, the administrators use this tool, AD administrators, tools to manage the AD in environment. We'll start with the AD Active Directory Administrative Center, then I'll take it up with the AD AD users, then AD SI Edit, LDAP, and at last we'll cover the Power Cells. And if you are not yet subscribed yet to CSMA, please do subscribe and let's start. Active Directory Administrative Center is a Microsoft uh, new GUI uh, tool for man managing Active, active Directory. Uh, the first version, version of uh, this tool, like we also call it as EDAC, came with the Windows Server 2008 R2 uh, and uh, Windows 7 R set tool. And it uh, allow the allows the administrator to manage the ADDS uh, that includes the server uh, management features uh, that is uh, active active directory recycle bin find find can password policies and uh, windows powershell history viewer uh, by default the ad recycle bin is not ena enabled we have to enable it uh, by uh, changing the function function label of the windows server it should be minimum like a uh, windows server 2008 r2 and uh, when the adac tool so we can have a look on more of that part and to we, we can also just uh, search for the active directory uh, uh, we can search for the active directory administrative center or just a shortcut key we have like uh, dsec.exe then hit enter it will open so this uh, this is the window of the Active Directory Administrative Center, and this pane is known as the Navigation pane. And then uh, we have here the Task pane when we select uh, our domain. Then Task pane will be here, and at the bottom we will have the Windows PowerShell History bar. This bar is called Breadcrumb bar. So by default, uh, like if if you want to, to enable uh, the recycle bin using this uh, administrative uh, tool then we must have fulfilled those requirements that we have like funks functional label and uh, and and to enable we have to just right click onto the domain and here we have option to enable recycle bin and we can also enable the same using the power cell as well so we have to just uh, use the command like enable hyphen ad of optional features then we have to include the parameters uh, to do that and then we we we, uh, we uh, create by using this tool we can uh, create the find and password policies find and password policies basically allow us to create uh, multiple password policy settings so different uh, group of users or, or we can we can as assign different kind of password policies for different uh, types of uh, ous or the users that could be targeted using the uh, global security groups or directly assigned to, to user as well and then we have the power cell history viewer power cell history viewer basically uh, if you wanted to learn uh, power cell then this will uh, be the most efficient tool for you because active directory administrative center is built on a top of the power cell uh, let me show you how like when we select any OU, let me just go to the user show you. And when we try to uh, create uh, any users, let me create one for the testing purposes. I will select the group only. I'll name it as STD group. Okay, I'll, I'll keep the all things as it is and just uh, click on OK. Then the group will be created. So here you see like uh, what, a, what we did, we created one group, uh, group uh, on this OU here where we created. So this will command will uh, list it out like what with the group. Uh. So let me search or so look, look for the same group that we have just created. So just open the users container that we created there and test, test. So this is the group that we just created. If we move this OU to another OU, like I'll, I'm gonna do that uh, from, from the top right corner, I'll click move and then I'll select the OU. I'll move it to the uh, like test OU. Let me move it to the test OU. Then here you see, like we just created a group then the it it's writes the commands like what will the command to write uh, create a group then we move to the OU 
uh, to the group. Uh, then we move this group to the another view. So this will be the command. And we move this uh, group to the test view. So just go to the test view. And then, then we'll going to just right click and select delete. And once we delete, then command will be this one like remove any object uh, confirm identity on also on. and now we will we'll have a look onto the uh, mostly used gui tool that is the active directory users and computers uh, we can open open it with the shortcut like dsa.msc uh, all ad administrator mostly use this tool uh, to manage all the users uh, create ad objects like users computers uh, uh, groups uh, OUs and uh, even the printers and we can we can use this tool to delegate the permissions on any OUs that we have organization of to you like we just have to right click and then uh, uh, select delegate to you and and we can use it to create uh, objects as well uh, we have to just go to the uh, new objects and then we can uh, select and create them let me create one user here just just to test it out like I'm just creating uh, just select the user and then you have to specify the scope uh, for this group uh, i'm uh, keeping it as it is so and uh, one more best feature for this tool that we can uh, directly uh, to move any objects we can uh, also uh, right click and select move uh, but we can also drag and drop it will uh, work the same way so it, it will ask but do you want it to uh, move then we can select click it yes then you can see it moves here and to delete we can also just uh, right click and select delete and uh, change other properties if we would like to do and uh, we also use this uh, aduc tool to uh, move the fijmo roles uh, basically the domain wide roles uh, that is stored here domain wide roles uh, we have like pdc and then uh, uh, infrastructure masters and the uh, last one we have like rid masters these these three rules can be moved from one to another and we can also use this to raise the functional labels uh, we just have to go to the properties of this uh, and then we can uh, select the raise function functional labels and uh, it also uh, allows the administrators to work with the advanced features uh, uh, like lost and found container ntds quota program data system information and uh, other stuffs and uh, let's uh, have a look on the next tool that we have like adsi edit adsi edit is uh, mostly the low label editor tool similar to the registry editor that we have and to open uh, this tool we can search adsi edit or just adsi edit uh, and dot msc it's the shortcut key you can search and you will have that uh, then click ok and it is basically an a special mmc snapping uh, that allows the administrator to create uh, modify delete uh, objects in aed and edit attributes and we also perform other search operations as well once it's open we'll have this window and uh, to uh, view and perform any kind of operations we have to right click on it and then we have to select connect then it will ask for to like which domain controller you would like to select we have only one here so it's just saying one uh, then we can also make any kind of uh, conf con configuration changes or a schema changes by using that adsi tool only and uh, i'll i'll select the configurations and then i'll show you the uh, ad tombstone so just uh, expand this and uh, go to the uh, services then again go to the windows nt and once you have the directory service uh, right click and go to the properties here we'll see that the tombstone uh, value is set as 80 uh, 180 days and once if you like to make changes to the uh, schema again uh, so again we have to right click and select on a connector and then uh, from the Con naming con context we have to select a schema here and then again uh, click on ok then a schema will open then uh, just x double click then it will open the services and based on that you can make any kind of changes on here and adsi is basically like a active directory service interface editor 
in a sort we call it as a adsi and the next tool we have like ldp ldp is a, a ldap client that we use to view object uh, uh, view object that are stored into the adds along with their metadata metadata is basically the uh, security descriptor uh, such as the security descriptor and uh, replication metadata so let's open to open this we just have to type ldp and then it will come up and then hit enter we can also op open it by going to the run then uh, uh, type the ldp then click on ok then it will come up and once it comes up then we have to click on connect then you have to uh, if you would like to connect to the any uh, ldap servers then you have to specify the uh, server name then the port uh, and uh, for the ssl uh, connect you have to select ssl or a connection type whatever you need you can do that and ldap is the ldp tool is basically a tool that we use to perform operations such as the like connect bind search modify add and and delete against any ldap com compatible directories such as we have here like adds so once you connect uh, let's uh, try to uh, click on a connection then go to the bind then if you try to bind with any other users you can select here uh, i'm going to use it with the current then click on OK. Then it will list out the uh, all the domain uh, DSA root configurations, all the things that we have here. And after that, and the next and uh, last and most important that we mostly use, we have like PowerShell, Active Directory module uh, for Windows PowerShell. So this one we have. By using this tool, we perform many operations uh, like uh, searching and uh, any performing any kind of uh, uh, op AD operations on AD. And it's basically the same, same like a power cell. It, it's basically the same. It will work the similar way uh, if you just import uh, import module uh, for the Active Directory, and that tool uh, will also both are the same. If you try to open that Active Directory uh, PowerShell, and this is the normal PowerShell where we have imported the Active Directory module, both will work in the same way. So this is it. I uh, hope you have the idea like uh, how many tools the, uh, we use to perform the uh, any kind of administrative task uh, on AD. Thank you.